In this problem, we have two wires, one above the other. Now, we're told that both have a length of 32 meters, and both have a mass per unit length, a density of 0 0.030 kilograms per meter. Now, the tension in the first one is 540 newtons. Tension in the second one is 340 newtons. Now, we're told that we generate a pulse at one end of each of them. So, we generate a pulse at one end of A and a pulse at one end of B at the same time. Now, they travel towards each other. Okay? And at some point, they're going to cross each other. Not in the middle because they're not traveling the same speed. They're traveling different velocities because they have different tensions in each wire. So, they're going to pass at some point and we want to know how much time has passed when they cross each other. Okay? So, we can tell that this whole thing is of length 32 meters. Okay? And we're going to say the length traveled by A plus the length traveled by B is going to be our full length. Okay? So, we can see that this here is length A. This here is length B. That's a that's the distance they travel before they cross, which is what we're looking for. Okay, so that's going to help us determine our final answer. So I'll actually call it distance A and distance B, because I like to use the formula distance equals velocity times time. Okay, so we can say distance traveled by A plus distance traveled by B equals the total distance of 32 meters. So that's one formula we're going to be using. The other formula is our general distance equals velocity times time. Okay, so we need to figure out what the velocities of the, each of these are. Okay, so I'm actually going to start off by trying to figure out what the time is. So we're going to figure out a formula for time and then just plug everything back in that we need. Okay, so we have these two formulas, distance A plus distance B equals 32 meters, and D equals VT. I'm just going to start with these ones. So I'm going to plug D equals VT in for DA and DB. So we have DA plus DB equals 32 meters. So if I plug in my velocity times time, velocity of A time of A plus velocity of B time of B equals 32 meters. Um, now, I don't, didn't need to scrub, subscript time be, because the time is the same, right? When they cross, it's, we stop the clock and it's the same for A and B. So, to solve for time, I'm going to factor out time, so I get time VA plus VB equals 32 meters. And if I divide over, I get time equals 32 meters over VA plus VB. So now I'm going to substitute in velocity. I have the formula V equals, in a cable in a wire, V equals F over M over L square root. That's the formula for velocity in a wire. Now you could have alternatively just figured out the velocities for both those right off the bat because you know force and mass per unit length. Figure out the velocities, plug them into here. Now you could have done that right off the bat, but I'm just doing it the whole, the whole way first. Okay, time now equals 32 meters over velocity for a. So if you wanted to figure out the velocity for a, square root the force for a. So I'm going to call it T a divided by rho. It's rho for a, but rho is the same for both of them. So I just write that down, plus square root, tension for B, divided by rho, equals 32 meters, divided by, now I plug in my values, tension of A is 540 newtons, 540 newtons, divided by a rho of 0 0.03, 0 0.030 kilograms per meter, square root, plus 340 newtons divided by 0 0.030 kilograms per meter under the 
the square root sign as well. Okay, so if I plug some numbers in, I'll get 32 meters divided by, now if I divide this in and take the square root of it, I get 134.162 meters per second, 164 meters per second, plus divide this, take the square root, is 106. 0.458 meters per second, keep this over all of it. So I add these two up, divide into that meters, I'm going to be left with seconds on the top, time equals, now after I round everything to, I get 0 0.13 seconds is your final answer.